hello hello JT here in this short guide I'll just show you how you can consistently earn uh, around $300 in about two to four minutes uh, it's a pretty simple strategy and I'll just quickly show you the settings I am using you can just copy these settings uh, and you should have a 15.6 multiplier the most important things is really just that you have summoning circle as your cursed possession and that there's a great period on the hunt. Everything else you can tweak a little bit. I do recommend you have a lot of hiding spots since uh, this makes the strategy risk free. Anyways, I'll just get to the gameplay and show you what the strategy is all about. Alright, here we are. First, go check out what challenges you have. Here we have get the ghost to blow out a candle. So we just take a camera, a candle, and we go. So first order of business is just to find the bone. This should be very simple. It's a small house. And you even have a light source, the candle. You can leave right after taking the bone, that is an option. But you also got this thing. Now, this is optional and it can be risky. Okay, and out we are. So, we didn't get it to blow out the candle, but we got a very low sanity, which you pretty much just get from uh, doing the cursed possession thing. So, we are getting that, and we also found evidence of the bone. We got a picture of the ghost. So, let's see how much it gets us. And there we go. 345, 342 just for that. And it's pretty much risk free. Even as you saw, it almost caught me on my way out. But since I activated all of the hiding places, I could just go in the closet and hide there. You can get unlucky and it spawns as you're trying to exit. If it spawned in the hallway, for example. I would have been dead but for the most part pretty risk-free strategy and this is what you would earn from like two nightmares so I'd say it's pretty good anyways thanks for watching leave a like if this did anything good for you and uh, I'll see you in the next video